Great. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit today about recruiting, screening, training, and the most important part, retaining those commercial drivers. I work with clients all over the United States, and it seems like no matter if I'm in California, Colorado, or Connecticut, one of the major problems everybody tells me they have is finding those good drivers, and then the other part is keeping those good drivers, because it seems like as soon as you find the good driver, somebody else steals them from you. So we're going to talk a little bit about today and some of the techniques I've given clients in the past to help uh, maybe make sure that we keep those drivers. This is one of these presentations that I could probably do for four hours, but so streaming it down to 20 minutes, we're really just hitting the high spots. So if anybody has any questions, I'll, I'll be hanging around for a while, or you know, uh, my information will be on here. So feel free to give me a call. So what are some of the problems we have? You know, one of the, again, one of the largest challenges that employers face is finding and retaining those commercial drivers. Many companies in the past have simply used that shotgun effect, where they figured, you know what, if I hire 20 people, probably at least one of them is going to be good. But the problem we found out that it takes a lot of time and a lot of money to go through those 20 drivers. And sometimes, even though you hire 20, there might not even be a good one in that batch. So even if you have been inundated with applications, it's often just a huge Herculean task to go through those applications to find that one good driver. So a good driving record is not always an indication that the applicant may be a long-term driver. So sometimes people will tell me, you know what, if their MVR is clean, or they haven't had any accidents, and they can breathe, I'll hire them. That's not the effect that we want. So it should be, again, a long process where we talk to the driver, we analyze the driver, and we see how they're going to fit into our organization, whether it be our safety rules or just our, our, our basic organization's operational principles. New drivers traditionally are, they have more accidents because they're learning the new equipment, they're learning new routes, they're learning new job requirements. So again, um, it's, it's better if we don't have that turnover because it's going to cost us a lot less in the long run. Again, equipment wear and tear is a big thing. A guy doesn't know his route, he's harder on the brakes, he uses more gas, he's harder on the engine. So that's all um, effects that people don't really realize that go in there, but there's a big cost to companies with that. Oh. And the new employees will definitely have lower job performance expectations because, again, learning routes, learning their job. You know, could you imagine being a new employee at a job, learning that new job, and then having to drive a vehicle at the same time? It's a, it's a big thing to learn. And like we said before, it takes a lot of time and a lot of money. And it's almost like a funnel where we put all these different ingredients in the funnel. And hopefully, in the end, we get that new driver. So we're going to spend money on advertising a position. We're going to spend money, maybe somebody's time, doing a phone interview. Uh, they're going to complete the application, do the background checks, MVRs, drug tests. All these things cost money. But more importantly to companies, it costs time. And the old adage, time is money, well, it really is to companies. So if we can, again, target these new employees and keep these new employees, it'll save you a lot of time and money. So what is the cost to your company? The big thing is turnover cost. And there's a little formula that goes into turnover cost. And a lot of times it surprises people what the actual reality of a turnover cost is. So the cost per hire is one of the big things. It you know includes things like the advertising agency fees. Does anybody give sign-on bonuses to their new drivers? Things like that will go in there. A um, lot of other things. Vacancy costs, you know, when you do lose a driver, we've lost opportunity to maybe service our clients, to um, provide new business. We're working our existing employees maybe a little harder because people are taking parts of route drivers' positions or, you know, again, everybody's taking up the slack. So there's the cost of that also. And then when we do have a new employee, there's a learning curve in productivity. So again, it costs a lot of money to train those new employees. So when we put these things all together, what we have usually is two to three times the annual salary of an employee it costs us to find these new employees and retain employees. If we don't retain them, that's what the turnover cost is. So we need to make sure, again, we can save our company a lot of money by making sure that we follow some appropriate steps to help find the good employees and keep the good employees. So recruiting new drivers, there are some simple ways to ensure that we're attracting that best and the brightest. People that we're going to keep on a long-term basis, they're going to do the best job for us and operate safely. So what are some recruiting strategies that clients of ours have used? Um, how many of you use the same ad for drivers as you do for other positions when you're advertising? Who's afraid to raise their hand? There we go. One or two of you. So a lot of companies will use the same ad, but when you're targeting drivers, you know, it's a special skill. There's special licenses required, again, special job performance. You really should have a separate ad just for drivers to target those drivers. 
When was the last time you even changed or, or looked at your ad? So many people have used the same ad for 10 or 15 years, and it's sort of like when you have um, that safety poster on the wall, and you pass by it every day for 10 years. I ask people all the time about, well, what does that safety poster say? They don't know. Same way with ads. If you don't change up the ad, people are just going to walk by that ad through the want ads, see it every time, and think, well, you know, it's the same thing I've seen before. What's really different about it? Your ad is the prospective driver's first impression of your company. So it's really important to make that count. And again, really target that towards a commercial driver. That's a time for you to not only um, sell the driver on you, but to sell the company. So some of the recruiting strategies, you know, does your ad make you sound desperate? And really, would an employer of choice sound desperate? If you're the place that people want to work, you're not going to sound desperate. But some of the ads that we see sometimes say things like wanted drivers, like, oh my god, we need drivers, we're such a horrible place to work, our turnover's so high, please, please, please come work for us. That's not what we want to see. Probably a little better is something like wanted drivers, because due to a recent company expansion in the Denver area, we need more drivers. That shows that our company's strong, our company's growing, we're not going to lay off next week like some of these other companies. So what we're doing is we're targeting those drivers that we're going to want. Again, we want to be best in the business, and when you are the best in the business, you're going to attract those drivers. If you have an ad that says immediate openings, Again, well, why do they have median openings? It's because it's such a horrible place to work, because their equipment always breaks and everybody quits, or they don't pay anything. Is that reason why they have median openings all the time? So probably a better way to say is median openings, due to our incredible growth and consistent profitability, we have immediate openings. Again, it shows you're a strong company, you're probably an employer of choice, you're a stable company, and you probably got better pay. So again, you're going to target those better drivers. You're going to get better quality candidates. <laughs> 